Hello and welcome. My name is Alan, as always. But yeah, um, I don't know what I wanted to make today's video about, really. I sat there and thought about maybe we'll talk about STEM, STEAM, and what I think should be STEM because of how I feel history has an importance to know. Or <sighs> we might talk about how <clears throat> I feel there is too much of a preference for bread and circuses instead of following the things that need to be followed. As per example, you know, everybody's fascinating over the debt herd trial when there is so much other stuff going on. But I just decided not to do either video and I couldn't think of anything else. So yeah, I, I don't even know what this video is about. I'll be honest with you. I'm just making a Friday video. <sighs> I am yawning. I am so sorry. My sleep's been off. Yeah. Maybe let's just talk about a story. Um, an experience I had, one of my prouder moments. When I was going through the living experiment in Tennessee and like I've told before I lived here in Virginia all my life except for like five years I had like a little living experiment just across the border into Tennessee One of the things made me proud of what I do as a person, of how I feel as a person. I went out to go get pizza at a uh, chain restaurant. And 
and decided I'd pick one up. Outside the door, there was a man sitting on the sidewalk in disheveled clothing. You know, he, he definitely looked like he'd been through a rougher time. You, you could tell. He really had nowhere to stay. Um, I went in, ordered my food, picked it up. And then I also uh, bought another pizza so I could provide him with some food. I brought, I left the store itself and came back outside and I offered him the pizza. He refused. He said they had already gave him some food, but he thanked me for the offer anyway. And we talked for a moment, you know, after I offered to get him something. And I sat down and we talked for a bit. And his voice got a bit shaky and he started tearing up. And he talked about how no one would sit and talk to him because he was homeless. And it just... It, it made his day so much because someone would sit down and actually talk to him and not just ignore him as someone who was struggling financially, who had no house, no home to go back to. He was living on the streets. And I let him talk about what he wanted to talk about. He would speak. I think we talked about him serving time in the military. And you know, sometimes... A little kindness like that does so much. Just if you offer someone some of your time. So, yeah. Yes. I'll admit it. There are people who try to use the homeless epidemic as a financial grift to make money. But many of them are just people down on their luck struggling. And it's better to sit and ask, you know, people things, talk to them, instead of fearing that, oh, I'm going to be lied to or, you know, taken advantage, though they'll try to take advantage of me financially or something. I see it way too often that people want to 
just ignore certain things because it's easier to do that and not deal with any consequences than it is to actually take a chance and say, we need to do this, need to talk to these people. But yeah. And it just, it disappoints me so much. I understand people don't want to be made fools of. They, their kindness doesn't want to be taken advantage of. So you sometimes very much have to take that chance, take that risk. <sighs> yes, you can get burned, but If you don't take the risk to try to help someone to, to make a change, then nothing's going to get better. Honestly, we shouldn't be in this situation in the first place where we have to depend upon... There, there's people that have to depend upon the kindness of others. If we want to get into the idea of governmentally the need for free to <clears throat> non-cost or low-cost health care. I mean, honestly, a homeless person shouldn't have to uh, be scared of going to the doctor because they have no money. They have no, you know, wealth or anything. Shoot, regular people shouldn't have to be scared of that, but Yeah. I feel there is so much the government should be taking on as a responsibility, but it's like they don't want to try to do their job to make things better for people. I know some people feel well. Well, that's that's not their job. I'm like, well, what is their job? What what purpose do they serve? You know, they should be there so people don't necessarily get taken advantage of. for increasing one's own wealth. Or at least so that any misfortunes out of one's own control won't make life unlivable they they need to make things bearably easier for a person see i i've transitioned from a story to thinking about things my mind just 
runs in random directions. But, yeah. We shouldn't be forced to uh, be the charity, the help, when this should be uh, things taken care of that should be a natural part of being a citizen. You wonder sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm not even a religious person. I, I count myself as an atheist, but... <laughs> You know, what would Jesus think if you believe in that thing, it kind of thing, if he saw today's world? Then you get into the whole thing of religious dogmas. But, yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to kind of talk for a while. I thank y'all for watching. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing. Ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later. Thank <laughs> you.